Hey guys, it's uh, Jake from Web Design Weekly. Uh, just thought I'd do a um, quick screencast on setting up a uh, WordPress uh, multi-site. Um, so I've just got a fresh install of WordPress. Uh, we'll just log in with a super super secret password. So okay, we're in the dashboard, just normal. Uh, WordPress install um, and the first thing we'll need to do is uh, go into the uh, WP config file um, so that is uh, you'll be familiar with that once you've set up your normal WordPress site and basically we just want to uh, add this line uh, to the to the file and that basically just tells WordPress to give us access to, so we can add more sites so as soon as we've done that save that file go back into your admin refresh and if you go to the uh, tools menu you should have this new uh, new network setup um, available and all we need to do is um, click a few options I prefer to have uh, have subdirectories set up uh, it's totally up to you and then once you're happy with all the other credentials basically we just install it uh, a couple more things we need to do we just need to uh, copy and paste this block into the WP config so we'll go back to the WP config and just below where we um, defined the multi-site we'll paste that in there make sure we save it go back to the admin and also we want to uh, grab this block and put it in our HT access file. If you don't have this, you just have to quickly create it, but uh, WordPress should create it for you. So we just overwrite everything that was um, in that file, save that, and go back to the admin, and we can refresh. We should be already locked, we should have been forced, forced out of the admin, so We'll just uh, log back in. And if we go over to, uh, well, we can see here, we've, we've now got the uh, a network settings and the admin's a little bit different. So your first site should be uh, accessible from this tab up here. Um, have a look through the settings, configure it as you need. But the cool thing about this now is that we uh, we can go into sites and we can just create a new site. So it makes developing so much quicker. Every time you do a new WordPress build, you just add a new site. You don't actually have to go to WordPress.org and add like a whole new install of WordPress. So if we just call this um, uh, test. Um, I'll just put in my email and then all we need to do is add a new site oh um, the site added so we can visit the dashboard now so we're actually on the dashboard of a new site that we've just created it took about two seconds so here we go we've got the test uh, website and then I've also got a demo one uh, we can uh, we can just uh, exactly the same uh, theme as applied the new 2014 but you can see they're completely different um, different site but you just manage them in the one admin um, yeah that's about it um, awesome for theme development plugin development uh, hope that helps